Okay, y'all, wanting an update on my little truck here. Sorry for the format, cell phone. At first, I thought it was bearings or something to do with lower end, but someone told me that it could be that oil, uh, that oil sending unit right there. It's the one that control senses your oil pressure and all that other stuff. I just wonder if that could have gone bad and messed up all my, you know, like, all my stuff. Because I lost oil pressure and everything else. All at once. And then it picked back up. Would that make it not send oil to the whole motor? Or am I just being a complete dumbass? Because if it's not that, I'm going to end up pulling the whole motor. I've already got half the front end took apart. All I got to do is take one or two more bolts loose and it'll come off. I'm just wondering if I am making a huge mistake. Besides that I had to buy parts for it anyways. The kickdown cable broke on me or whatever it was. So if you have one of these little S10s or ever work on one, give me a little information if you would please. Because... I am racking my brain trying to figure out what all could be wrong with this motor. And it picked up oil pressure, but it wouldn't hardly pull itself up on these ramps right here, which are not underneath the truck anymore. Been busy with it. And if you wonder what I mean by busy with it, I mean, got the whole front end took apart. All this goodness underneath here, tapping the top covers off, the exhaust is off, one motor mount bolt loose or gone. I've got the, uh, the, that their carrier bearing or whatever you want to call it, that thing's a nuisance. Got the drive line out. And debating on whether to pull it all in one because I've already got this whole front clip loose. Or just to take the transmission loose and just pull it as the motor. <sighs> The only thing I think I got left on it is a few wires over here, the alternator, and the motor mount. And the bell housing bolts, which are not that big of a deal. But I don't know if I'm going to pull it all as one or just the motor. Well, besides that, I got one little thing on the transmission I got to fix anyways. So, yeah, that is where I'm at on it. Just needing some advice. And for y'all telling me to put a Ford motor in it or buy a Ford, that's already been contemplated on and decision has not been made yet. Or should I just take the whole front end apart and slam a 4.3 up into it? Joking, of course. Gas prices are going up, and this little sucker right here would be a gas sipper. Literally. If you have any comments or anything to do with this, for help-wise, leave it in the comments. It would be greatly appreciated.